Hey y'all, my name is Ye, I use she they pronouns. I am a second year PhD student. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I am cooking a little bit of breakfast in the background. That's what that noise is. But in a previous video, I took y'all on like <laughs> a day in my life where I was going to go lecture and then I was a week and a half early. But I also showed y'all my temporary therapy office. I told y'all that that wasn't gonna be what my actual office is. They just had me in there for my first day back. And I got an email yesterday saying that my new office space is ready. So today I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna see how big it is. And then I'm going to go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I don't have a much money and try to get some things to decorate the space. So part of what I've been thinking about a lot lately as it regards my clinical practice is my level of comfort in session. I was explaining to my supervisors that I know what to say and I know what to do, but how I would say and do those things in my own authentic voice and person and personality is a little bit of a challenge. And part of the reason I believe it is such a challenge is because the clinician version of me is new. Being my authentic self in the classroom setting with friends in a social setting is completely different because I've been doing that my entire life. But me in a clinical, a formal clinical setting is very new. It's just been this school year, basically. So I'm still figuring out what things look like on myself. I think part of what will help me to feel a little bit more comfortable is having my office space feel like my space. Part of the reason why I always feel so comfy cozy at home is because I customize the hell out of my home space. Most of my stuff in my home is pink. It very much follows a theme. I was joking around with friends and I was saying, part of the reason why people are so miserable is because their house doesn't have a theme. Like a lot of people's homes do not have themes. And mine has a theme. Every time I come in here, I'm just like, I love it. All my sponges are pink, my cat's food bowls are pink, my plates are pink, my Keurig is pink, my towels are pink, my rug is pink, my bedspread is pink, so forth and so on. So I think part of having that joy and enjoyment in the clinical space is going to come from me being able to customize my office space, which the space that I was in last semester was not that big. So there weren't that many opportunities to like really do things in there. I bought a salt lamp all the way over there and then went to plug it in. That bitch didn't even work. <laughs> but with this new office space, the offices are much bigger and the building is just a little bit more cozy. So it doesn't have that super medical sterile overhead lighting or anything like that. I have lamps and there's carpet and all of that. So I'm excited to see what my office looks like. I'm hoping that there's a window in there because my office for the previous semester also didn't have a window. I have this really cute chair that I thrifted, of course, a long time ago before I even got here that I hadn't had the opportunity to put into my office because my office wasn't big enough. So I'm gonna take that with me. I'm looking for like a rug. I already have some pillows that I'll put on the little couch. I think I'm gonna get like a throw blanket to put on the couch where the clients are gonna sit. So I just wanted to take y'all with me because I think that this will be fun. Okay, so we are in my office. It's much bigger than what the last one was and I love a big ass desk and I have a big ass desk now. I wasn't expecting it to be this shape, so this is interesting, but that's why I wanted to come in early so that I can reconfigure, see where I wanna put everything. I can work with this. Mm -hmm. 